I uh, keep repeating uh, myself on those basic concepts because uh, for our community members or for our teams, they are easily um, buried into daily chores. Like, uh, okay, we need to get this uh, uh, high plus plus. We need to get the video. We need to get uh, uh, carrier going, DID going, right? Those are all uh, components. But why do we have so many components? Because uh, our community was complaining, uh, this product is way overwhelming, too complicated. So that's why I was uh, trying to uh, really put it simple, comparing to a computer. When you look at a computer, uh, everyone I hope have uh, uh, ever had the uh, experience, open up a PC. When you open up a PC, really there are only three things in it. Uh, the three things are, of course, you will have hard drive for storage. And then you have a motherboard, which is so-called a second tier, right? And uh, a memory database, a memory uh, file system, a memory uh, data cache runs uh, programs. But actually, uh, memory is a um, way of uh, optimization. It's not really necessary in theory. A third piece, of course, is the CPU is the motherboard. No, 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 it's uh, the CPU uh, execution uh, unit, right? With that three things, uh, that'll give us a computer. And uh, also I wanna compare a internet computer. If you look at uh, the reason why we say smart web is a computer, smart web has a, a, a huge, uh, almost infinite uh, amount of storage. There are two kinds of storages. One is the uh, personal cloud, like uh, Hive, uh, no, uh, OneDrive, Google Drive, Home NAS, those are personal storage. And then there's a public storage and uh, for binaries, for uh, public files that you want people want to share, right? Comparing to a PC, you have a home directory, you have public directories. And uh, when people see IPFS, they say, wow, you know, that's the future. That's not, I mean, it is in a way, but that's just a compute component of a web computer. It's not the whole web computer. And also it's only part of the storage because if you, where do you put your personal data? Where do you, you know, when you, uh, before you publish a video, where do you do the video editing? You don't do video editing on IPFS. You do all your uh, write-ups, right? Um, your personal uh, storage. So what I'm trying to compare is that uh, IPFS alone is not a ecosystem. Similarly, if you see uh, uh, Ethereum, so-called uh, uh, world computer, which is very, very misleading because of its, in a way, it's true. In engineer's mind, it is a computer. According to Alan Turing, with a CPU and a hard drive, you have a computer. So every smart device we're talking about today is a computer. Mouse is a computer. Keyboard is a computer. Video um, webcam is a computer, right? Because it, it has a CPU built in because it's a smart device. It has some little bit of storage built in. So uh, literally that's a Alan Turing computer over there, okay? But that's not the computer in, in consumer's mind. The computer, the term that computer, the, the consumer understands. It's the PC we can run words, uh, uh, office. We can do um, grand uh, theft auto. We can do um, video multicasting, right? Those are the computers in consumer's mind. If you're saying word computer and uh, has like, okay, 15, even 1500 transactions per day, uh, per second, right? And in theory, it will never be um, as fast as a PC, single PC. There's no way. I mean, a Ethereum world computer will never compete with a single computer, speed-wise. And if you talk about Web3, that's another misleading uh, a word. Because Web3 is definitely, it's a cross-chain, parallel chain sharding, well, it depends on what you put it. And then different uh, uh, parallel chains talking to another. And then with the latency of 
at least five seconds per message. Okay, so that kind of a web is not the WW web we're talking about. Every message takes about five to 15 seconds. Is that the web we are talking about? It's not the web of consumer talk about, okay? So there's a huge, huge gap between the blockchain community and the reality. The reality is the web. It's not the web three. It's not the world computer. That's where the smart web comes in. I hope our community at least, at least learn this far, okay? And also, as I mentioned, when we start the journey, we want to do SaaS, we want to do component, we want to uh, separate uh, applications from communications, make the uh, applications agnostic to the infrastructures. So then you can see the effect after three years. We can have actually Neo setchain or EO setchain. Actually, we tried a little bit, but then those three chains, right? Uh, of course, it's a Ethereum set chain is much more uh, mature because there's more demand for it. If there's a demand for NEO, we'll, we'll put more uh, priority, higher priority on NEO. So if uh, you know EOS is popular, then we we we'll just switch to, to EOS set chain. That's not a issue. And if uh, you know cross chains, I also wrote a Twitter. If there's a cross chain needs, you know Euro swap to uh, US dollar then definitely we could either port uh, uh, Web3, uh, Polkadot, or we do our own. That's a, uh, that's a decision we're gonna make down the road. However, the apps, the consumer apps will not be affected when we're rotating or replacing components. So that we're agnostic to those projects. It's similar to Boeing, right? Boeing is the uh, assembly for airplane. But Boeing doesn't really make uh, Rolls-Royce engines or GE engines. They pick a engine, right? So then a lot of community members trying to compare. Is that Elasto? How do you compare Elastos with the uh, Polkadot Web3? How do you compare uh, Elastos Web Computer with the uh, Ethereum World Computer? I just mentioned, by definition, we're completely different beasts. We don't compare. We consider them being the Rolls Royce engines or you know, replaceable components. And another thing I wanna emphasize, in the long, long run, we're not uh, doing the, uh, uh, I, I wouldn't say speculations. I understand speculations, okay? I did some stock tradings uh, in my past life. So I understand the pain of losing money. Believe me, right? Um, I won't tell you how much uh, I, I lost, but at least I lost six figures, put it this way. Okay, and uh, this, so I understand the pain, okay? But on the other hand, if you do investing in stocks, where's the money, you ask? Okay, the money doesn't generate from exchanges. The money, gener money is generated from business. And uh, then you ask, where's the economy? Without economy, why do you need a token? Why do you want to swap token? You need to have businesses. And the businesses, when, when, when you see Bitcoin, the Bitcoin, right, it has an economy, whether it's a dark web or it's money laundering, that's a business, that's an economy, whether you like it or not. That's real money change hands. It's not on exchanges. And then the other ones, for us, we're not doing the offline ones. How do we treat the uh, ebooks? How do we treat the uh, uh, videos? How do we protect personal data and uh, having people to uh, trade personal data? And those are the business that I'm talking about. Can you sell a video with a scarcity? Can you, you know, uh, somehow evaluate uh, your personal data, like uh, a green pass, how much your health data is worth, and can you, you know, contribute or sell it to uh, health organizations or, or drug manufacturers? Those are all the ones the business were actually thinking about in the uh, near future. So um, that's why I, when I wrote the 
Twitter message. I wanted people to read for a record the reasons uh, behind the whole thing. Yeah, that's 